Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> yeah. We're out here on the deck enjoying some drinks. James, you wanted to talk about the, uh, the term myth, right? It really grinds your gears how that term has been uh, used uh, in, uh, in, in recent, uh, relatively recent history. Let's go into that. My entire life, starting in grade school, I was taught that a myth was at best a misconception, at worst a lie, at worst a lie, but it's essentially uh, a truth that's been symbolically rendered uh, to pass down through the generations. So um, I like the TV series Mythbusters. I used to watch that with my roommate for a few years, but the title just always bothered me, you know, because it depicts this symbolized truth as a lie, just in shorthand. Um, not not too many people would try to fight against it. Uh, you know, such a battle is, I guess, not even worthwhile. The mass mind is what it is. But I was thinking of, uh, because it's something I do with the Plantation America work, is uh, taking words uh, that are used uh, in shorthand by academics to falsify and obscure history. Uh, for instance, peasant. You know, uh, just about any modern persons, when you say the term peasant. Well, you're some, you're some poor person working in the, in the fields for some more. Or something. Right. Uh, it's equated, really. Uh, most people think of it in terms of a serf. Right. A serf is somebody that's actually the property of the land and they're thereby owned without ownership guilt by whoever owns the land. It, it, it was just some church legalese from uh, the end of the Roman Empire. Uh, the peasants were landowners that paid taxes. The only people that paid taxes were merchants or landowners until very recent history, till about a hundred or so years ago. Mm -hmm. Those are the only types of people that paid taxes. Um, a Peasant generally owns slaves. They pay taxes because they own the land. The greatest sin in the universe. Right. Well, <laughs> so maybe, uh, maybe they thereby earned their uh, their low status and their <laughs> warped <laughs> mirror of the past. But people will repeatedly in historical con discussions uh, mention peasant as somebody that's virtually a slave, which was the lot of the serf. And that thereby erases the slave from European history because the peasant is regarded as somebody who's essentially enslaved. Anybody that pay ta pays taxes is technically a slave according to the definition for most of history, <laughs> uh, which viewed most people as slaves. But the misconception of what a peasant was uh, does effectively erase entire classes of less fortunate people that were underneath them. Uh, the peasant uh, was the yeoman or militiaman here at military service, probably didn't have enough money for a horse. You know, so he would most likely serve on foot. He became very important with the development of anti cavalry weapons include mass use of long spears or pikes and the use of the longbow which was originally the Welsh bow. Uh, this made the peasant progressively more important in warfare. Yeah. Now, getting to just the beginning of this to wrap this up, right? we're trying to make short a video. <laughs> yeah, uh, so hopefully we succeed. When did the term myth mythology and all this stuff. When did the term myth you think become associated with some you know, mis misinformation? Because you know how bad that is, God forbid. Um, it was uh, by at least 1970, which was my, uh, my first memory of the term is in fifth and sixth grade when I started growing a brain and I was getting out of the special ed class. 
So it was, <laughs> yeah, so it was in special ed. Uh, so it was, it was, uh, but it turned out to be okay because I thereby uh, sidestepped a lot of the indoctrination that brainwashed people that were more intelligent to me. Well, I mean, special so. ed kids were just like they were actually the bad criminal kids in, in my schools. Uh, you know, uh, I was the Tarzan of the special ed kids. That's awesome. uh, of the five of us, I was definitely the smartest. That's there you go. <laughs> I wasn't as strong as those other four yeah, idiots. Actually, I would, I would actually <laughs> say that lacking in mythology is something that really hurts you as a people, as a co co collection or whatever. So, um, but there, is a, there are American myths for sure. So anyway, all right, so this is uh, interesting. We just wanted to talk about mythology and uh, myth and all that terms. It's just a myth. So. All right. Cool. Some. Maybe there's some misconception. Or well, misinformation. Oh. We're the YouTube experts. Oh, no. So we're all about misinformation. We're trying to misinform people yeah. to, for evil, you know, <laughs> evil purposes. Sorry.